Hi, welcome to The Shed. I'm the voice inside your head, and today we're going to do a run-through of the chord changes on the bebop standard ornithology. Ornithology stands for the study of birds, and this was written by Charlie Parker, and his nickname is Birds, so it works out. It's written over the chord changes for the tune How High the Moon, um, but the melody is different, so this works for How High the Moon as well. Now, I'll be using colors to show different key areas. And these chords don't move um, functionally. They move intervallically. So instead of just using Roman numerals, I'm going to use Roman numerals in relation to different key areas. So we start off in the key of G, and this is a 1 in the key of G. So we have that for two measures. That chord becomes minor, and we have a minor 7 to a dominant 7 to a major 7. And that shows me that this could possibly be a 2-5-1. So we have to look at the intervals between the roots. So a fourth up to C and a fourth up to F. So this is a 2-5-1, and it's a 2-5-1 in the key of F. All right, so we have that for two measures, and then that major chord becomes minor, and that goes to a dominant to a major. Could be a 2-5, so let's look at the roots, up a fourth, up another fourth, so it is a 2-5-1 in the key of E flat major. Now I have a minor 7 flat 5 to a dominant 7 flat 9, and that's a red flag, meaning that it's a minor 2 5. So let's look at our roots. We have A up a fourth to D and up a fourth to G, and this is a minor 7, so that's a minor 2 5. Now G minor is a minor 1. This is the parallel minor. So we have a minor 2 to a 5 to a 1 in G minor. So I made this lowercase. You can see it's a, a minor 2 5 1. Then I have another minor 2-5, but does not resolve to a 1 chord here, so it's by itself. Now, this is all in the uh, same key. It's all in G harmonic minor. The next chords. So we have four chords here, and this is all in the key of G, and it's just a really long turnaround. So we have a 3, 6, a 2, and a 5. This is an A, B tune, and the B is a little bit different the from the A, but not that much. So the first, um, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six measures are the exact same. So here's our six measures. And then instead of the minor 2-5 going to a minor chord like it did up here, it's going to go to a major chord. So we go back to our original key center of G major. And we have another minor 2-5 in G. And then I have a quick turnaround. So we have a 3, 6, 2, 5, or you can think about it as a 2 of 2, a 5 of 2, then a 2 and a 5. So it's a 2 in A minor, 5 in A minor, then a 2 in G, a 5 in G. And then we have a 1 chord. And then if we were to play this uh, over again for like a solo or something, I would put in a 2, 5 here. If you were to end the song, I would just end it on a G major. So these are the chord changes. There are 1, 2, 3, 4 five different tonalities in here and if you know when they change and if you know how they change it's going to help you when you're soloing or playing chords if you look at just the first chord of each four measure phrase you'll see um, that we're just moving down in whole steps so if you're a guitar player like me i know that i'm just going to move two frets when i'm going to a new color here and uh, that's going to help me navigate the fretboard and i'm going to be able to play um, solos that outline these changes